Previously on McLeod's Daughters. You really think that's going to work? I didn't like it. I didn't say that. You and Stevie, huh? Oh, great. Just a bit of fun, that's all. Oh, does she know that? Sounds like you care. I'm not stepping on any toes, am I? <laughs> Are we just friends? Wouldn't want to get in hurt, that's all. What's this? A black opal. Are they yours? Yeah, I own them. Fair and square. All right, maybe not everyone would see it that way, but I'm telling you, they were owed to me. Stevie. Kids, can I have some sympathy for the few of us that are still unhitched, will you? <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be the only single bloke in the district. I don't really want a boyfriend. Maybe in a few years when I've got other things sorted. Yeah, right, and then you'll click your fingers and your prospective husband will magically appear on the scene. You said anything about getting married? That's my point. Of course, I'll kill him. Man dog, man dog, what's up, mate? She was beautiful, mate. I can't believe she's gone. What happened? I knew you got stolen. All right. Alloy wheels. Tinted windows. What sort of a mongrel would do it? Go on, mate. All right. They'll look after you. You'll be right. All right. Finish yours, please. Uh, now that everyone's here, I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate Nick and Tess. It's been a long time coming, but thankfully Nick took my advice and uh, got a move on. Yeah, yeah. Leave it out, Dad. Now, I can't say how proud I am to finally see the merging of these two great families, Ryan's and McLeod's, in a one big Ryan empire. Don't worry. He's always been delusional. Watch Tess rip his head off. Ah, <clears throat> uh, thank you, Harry. To Nick and Tess. To Nick, Nick, and Tess. Tess. Nick and Tess. Yeah. 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 Finn. So you haven't forgotten everything. I want what's mine. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. I want the opals. I don't have them anymore. Then I want the money. Now. Trouble here, folks? Ah, uh, no. It's fine. Two days should do it, shouldn't it, Steve? Yeah, no worries. Might see your driver's run. <laughs> what was that all about? No big deal. Come on. Let's get back to the others. It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles, cross every river, and find your not alone. Cause I'll be there. Hi, coach. Sorry, things on my mind. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I had to order some new feed, sort out the ewes. With the money from next season's lambs, you should get the overdraft down a bit. Ah, uh, don't worry, Harry's taking care of it. Yeah, he knew I was struggling, so he offered to kick in a bit. Pre engagement present. No strings attached. Well, what was I supposed to do? It's a gift. Yeah, well, so was the Trojan horse. It'll be fine. I get it. You fall in love and your brain turns to mush. No, you fall in love and suddenly you see things differently. That's so strange. I guess not. Except, you know, 
Kalani is Kalani, and I thought you liked drovers to be drovers. I do. And it will be. Mostly. Come on, Oscar. Yep, it's wild pigs for sure. There are tracks everywhere. Kane had the same problem on Wilgul a few weeks back. Well, we made a mess of our fence. Why don't they just come through one hole instead of pushing through in 12 different places? I thought feral pigs were supposed to be smart. Well, smart enough to make it hard for us, plus more escape routes. Which brings me back to men. Oh. Kate, if you don't know who you're dealing with, they're going to run a mile. I know how to talk to men, Jodie. OK, fine. Who was the last guy you spoke to? The barman last night. Great. What did you say? Can I have a bourbon and coke and two schooners, please? This is worse than I thought. We'd better check the trusser damage. Mm. How'd it go? Well, the fences are pretty much stuffed. Pipes as well. Yeah, well, the pigs have gone right through it. It's like this all the way down there. Well, we could rig up some repairs. Oh, we could do it together. No, it's too big a job. Whole section needs replacing. Well, when I've sold off some of my hay, maybe. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about selling the hay. Are you sure? For my future daughter-in-law? What's a couple of rolls of wire? Thanks, Harry. That's, um... That's really lovely. So the invasion begins. OK, you two start on the pipes. I'll be, um, down there soon. Fixing the fences ain't going to solve the pig problem. No, I've got something for that, too. Radio transmitters. Catch a couple of pigs, you fit those on, they lead you to the rest. I get a few trackers onto it. Well, that sounds expensive. Don't even think about it. It's done. Like a dinner. Harry, how about a deal? Why don't you lend us the gear, we'll build the trap on drivers, and we can organise the tracking? Yeah, fair enough. The boys can help. OK. You know, Tess, there's a lot of areas we could uh, rationalise helping each other with. Machinery, stock maintenance. Staff numbers. Actually, we're pretty much a family here. There's uh, not one person I could do without, Harry. No, of course not. Right, I'll get back to it then. So how do you work this thing? Okay. Receiver. Yep. Transmitter. Mm-hmm. Antenna. Oh. Before we get started, I've already fixed the fence that you had to go at me about, and I've sorted out the problem with the windmill. Yeah, I'm not here to hassle you, Kane. Just want to let you know there's some feral pigs around. Looks like you know that already. So listen, uh, I want you to know we might be coming in the back paddocks to track them and shoot them. Righto, mate. Hey, Nick, by the way, you and Tess, congratulations, mate. Yeah, thanks for that, Kane. We'll keep you in the picture, eh? Sorry? Well, there's a few changes around here. The properties might merge. Wilgo could be a part of that. So you're thinking about tearing up my lease? No, I wouldn't do that to you. I'd buy you out, and better than fair offer. What if I don't want to go, mate? Well, check your lease. I'm sure you'll find there's enough cause. Be in the fine print, right? Yeah, right. We'll let you know. We'll be back in a couple of days. We'll do a property check. Of course you will. Turbo. Where are they? They're not yours. I knew you still had them. I took what was mine. Is this the way you want to play it? No, wait. I, um... I'm meeting a buyer tomorrow. I'll share the money with you. So give the stones to me, I'll sell them for us. It's my way or it's not at all. I'll split it 50-50. That's more than you deserve. Where and when? I'll let you know. I expect to hear from you. No excuses. Cute dog. 